So how much fun was that? Uh, you caught the ball and then obviously took off. Did you know at the time you caught it that uh, you had nothing but green grass ahead, or did you? <laughs> no, I, didn't, I mean I didn't, I didn't know right th right then in the moment. I mean Dante put the put the ball on the spot. I, I turned and got the ball. She ran for my life right there, man. It was crazy. Um, it's a great moment. Just full team, just everyone on the O line, great blocking. All the routes obviously open everything up together. So it was a great moment for the team. Um, and it's, it's it's really funny actually. Um, before the the night before the game, me and Shea Pitts we usually like watch film. And the night before the game, I don't know why he said it. He was like, I think you go for seventy tomorrow. And we were just sitting there, and he said, it and I was like, oh, okay. And I went, I'll start going for seventy. I was like, I might as well go for eighty now. <laughs> it was a fun, fun moment. I mean, I, and I think that it was, it was, it was really just a blessing, um, just to do that and like really just uh, show off for our team. And like, I, and, the, and the great thing about our team is that um, we just have a lot of guys, a lot of weapons. I mean, it could be my my big play one day, I, I, as you saw the week before, it's J Mike. I mean, we have a lot of weapons on this team. Um, like I talked about last time, like this is one of the best receiver cores I've ever been a part of. Could be Kyle, even the tight ends too, like Hudson, Carson, uh, Michael Church. Like it could be all of us. Like I mean, we, we really have a great room here, so it's it's been really exciting. You mentioned you know his ability to put the ball in the money. I mean, we saw it in the opener, that first down he had to J Mike. We saw it, you know, the sidearm throw to Carson. I mean, yeah. what is it about the way he's able to just? Uh, do it with such poise right. uh, and, you know, I guess yeah. take advantage of all your abilities. No, yeah, I, I think that kid is going to be really special. Um, I think when he first came in here day one, he was a really humble kid um, and just has a great feel for the game and really puts the ball where you want to go. And he, he's my locker mate, so we talk about it all the time. He'll come downstairs after practice, spring ball. Hey, like, like what do you see on this? Like, do you like where I put it? Like, stuff like that. We'll, we'll, he's always talking, always, like, wanting to learn more, want to know where to put, put the ball, things like that. Um, and I think that's a testament of even the whole quarterback room. I mean, we have a very talented quarterback room, especially you saw Colin Schley come in, do his thing too. I mean, Garbs last week, like he's, he's still did his thing too. Like we have a lot of guys that really just have the ability to play. Um, Dante's been amazing for us and whoever, whoever's up there next week, it's going to be amazing for us too. And that one was an RPO, right? Yeah, yeah, yes sir, yeah. Um, and on a play like that, um, I mean, he obviously threw it a little bit high on that one. Is it more about getting it out quick to you are you more concerned with timing than placement on that one? Yeah, I, I think I think time because obviously with RPO, um, there, there's going to be a lot of guys rushing cause for the play fake. So he did a really good job of getting out even with the pressure, right. um, which was just really big. I, I was running down the hole. I was like, come on, come on, throw it. And he put it right there. So it was, it was perfect. Made the play. And I mean, it's just a good, good team effort right there. Yeah. You mentioned watching film with Shea. What's your guys' friendship like? It's, it's been great. I mean, um, he was here my freshman year. I've been here for six years now. Like, this is... I mean, his seventh coaching now, it feels like forever. We've been here together, so um, we have a really good relationship. I mean, he he knows the defensive side of the ball, like, very well. Um, so it's really always good, like, picking his mind about certain things. I mean, when he was here, we would go against each other a lot. And, I mean, it's just it's, it's constantly learning things, you know? Like, we watch film just to see. He, he might see things I might I might not see, and vice versa. We talk about things. I mean, we have a really good relationship on and off the field. I mean, we've been really good, good friends ever since, though. So. And you mentioned six years, right? Obviously, the start of this season is a new set of circumstances than you've had to deal with before. So, what do you, what does it feel like to be building something kind of week to week? Right. Yeah. Um, I think it's awesome. I think um, this process is a little different now that Dorian's gone. I mean, I, I, obviously, people will look to this and say that we're in more of a rebuilding mode, but I don't, I don't think that's the case here. I mean, I think we have a great team. I think that every time that we go on the field, we have a chance to, to win. It could be the Kansas City Chiefs and I mean I think we have a good shot you know I mean I, I, I love our team and um, I love I love the, the the chemistry that we have together we've done a lot of things just to build that um, over the past couple months I think that's one thing that we've done better at um, over the years being here so long is that our team's really close and I think that that's um, just a, a great job that coach Kelly's done just like helping us like sit down at dinner and like eat together talk together rather than just take it to go box and leave I mean we we do we, we do just like little things like that where it's like okay like now I'm getting to know like players that I wouldn't necessarily see like maybe on the D line or something like that, like Jay Toya. Like I, I don't maybe get to talk to him too much during practice, but moments like that I get to, you know, get to know the team a lot better. So it's, it's been really cool. You, you mentioned six years. Were you brought in by the Moore staff or by Coach Kelly? Uh, no, I was brought in with Coach Kelly. Okay. Yeah. So um, the, the guys remaining right now, it's me, Alex, and Kenny. That was our original okay. group. Yeah. So it's been cool. And, and Alex is my roommate. So I mean, it, it was. Shout out to him. He had his two picks. Like that. Like he's a baller. I and mean, he, he's been working for this for a long time now. And like getting to see him go out and shine, it's been just awesome to see. Just as his roommate and as his like good friend. Like 
He's a baller. He's gonna do good things for us this year. So yeah, it's been cool. You both, you both were former walk-ons, right? Yeah. So yeah. what does that mean for you both to be making such a big impact now? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Yeah, uh, our, our original group, uh, um, it was like me, Alex, Greg Dosich, all walk-ons, Elisha Guidry, Quinn Wallace, Ethan Mattis, Stephen and Franco. Like, our, our group was really really close and really awesome. I think that every day, like, obviously, as a walk-on, like, you, you're striving to get better, but at the same time, like, to earn that scholarship, like, at the end of the day, like, you want to... Um, be validated for like your efforts and things like th things like that but even like when we weren't on scholarship like it didn't change the way that we worked and i think that's um what's really important now it's like our work habits like have been the same and it just eventually will catch up to you as they say so i mean it's been awesome um all glory to god for just giving us the opportunity just to go out there and play um and to, to the coaches too for just coaching us up this whole time i mean they've been great jerry um coach diamond our strength, our strength coaches our speed coaches like CB and, and I have a speed coach, uh, Manny Moody, who just, I've been, we've been working at it, working at it all, all the time. So, I mean, it's, it's been awesome, yeah. Can you look at it like having Shay, Deshaun, Jerry yeah. around this program? Yeah. How, how special is that? Oh, it's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, th those guys are great coaches, but even, even better people. So, I mean, it, 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 it's a good thing when you have a good coach, but then you also have someone that is also there who wants the best for you, truly wants the best for you, and um, will always coach you up in that way. Um, and... I think that sometimes gets lost um, in just seeing the production on the field, but those guys are just amazing people in general, so it's been awesome, yeah. Is Coach News Heisel the most relentlessly positive person you've ever met oh, in your life? Very <laughs> relentlessly positive, yes. Yeah. The times that I don't want to be sometimes, he, he'll, he'll get it out of you, he'll get it out of you, yeah. So he always keeps us in a positive mindset. Um, our receiver roof is, room is probably one of the most goofiest rooms you'll ever see. It's, it's, we have a lot of fun in there, and um, but he does a good job in controlling it making sure we keep our heads. I mean, we have a lot of guys that can make plays. So, I mean, it's sometimes it can be hard. We're competitive, you know, to like it, to really like bring that together. But this is still like, it's crazy. The most talented, but still the closest group also. Like we're always together, like always cracking jokes. Like it's a really fun group and it's going to be exciting this year. So. And earlier uh, in practice, we saw Jaden Marshall working with, uh, you know, one of your receivers working with the cornerbacks. Did he work at all with you guys today? Uh, um, I'm receiver? not really sure what happened there, honestly. Um, I think that was, uh, Coach Kai, I think they're just trying some other things out. Um, he was doing both. I, I don't know. He very talented player, very fast guy. So, um, I mean, I know whatever they give him, he can handle. I'm not really sure what they were doing that direction, but um, yeah, I mean, great player for us. So, we'll see what they do with that. Yeah. Thank you.